let me see if I can pause it. Um, so what's going on, y'all? Let me bring it back there just one second so we can see that code again. There you go. How's it going, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be seeing me using my, you know, Licky Licky team, I guess would be the best way to call it. Um, I have been enjoying this team quite a lot. I do feel like I don't get to use Dragapult Cole as much as I would like to, but people have suggested me things that I might do instead of Dragapult Cole, like maybe like Hatterini and Metagross, and I, I forget what the other thing someone suggested. I think they said Feramosa and, and Metagross maybe or something like that. So there's definitely maybe some options I could consider besides Dragapult Cole, but I do think in general that this team seems to have pretty decent versatility. Uh, it's like two main modes of, of playing, right? But if you haven't seen this team, I suppose we can go over it really quickly because we have a little bit of time. Um, I do, I would appreciate, you know, your feedback if you have any suggestions for other things besides Dragapult Cole. But question of the day is, what off-meta Pokemon do you think are slept on? So, I think, you know, obviously there's a lot more Pokemon out there than people usually use. And I don't know what I would say I think is super amazing, because I just think like, there's so many random things that just come to my head. Obviously, Mudsdale is really good and nobody is, like, using it right now that much. Um, one random thing that was coming to my head when I was thinking about this question is Eviolite Gloom with, I think, Strength Sap, Toxic, Leech Seed, and Giga Drain can actually be very good if you have the chance to set it up and, you know, take out the threats around it. Um, Licky Licky is a, you know, slept on off meta Pokemon. If I think of any more, I'll you know, say it throughout the video, but let's start talking about this team. So we've got Grimmsnarl with Wide Lens in order to just try to mitigate missing Swagger or Thunder Wave. I think Thunder Wave could potentially be taken off for something else, and you do have a slight anti-synergy between Indeedee and Grimmsnarl with the Psychic Terrain, but for the most part we like using Grimmsnarl to set up Licky Licky with the own tempo by using Swagger on Licky Licky, and Licky Licky with the Assault Vest is a tank, we'll say that, um, and it has, I, I would say, a pretty good moveset, which is Body Slam, Fire Punch, Ice Punch, and Thunder Punch, covers a significant amount of um, weaknesses pretty well. Then we have Life Orb Cinderace, which, if I'm correct, this one is not max speed nature and is adamant which I found out can one-shot Porygon 2 with high jump kick. So it definitely has that going for it. And, you know, this is a good move set for if you don't want to have to deal with Sucker Punch and Psychic Terrain, because very often we do bring Grimmsnarl, Licky Licky in the front with Indeedee, Cinderace in the back. But, you know, sometimes you might want to bring Dragapult or Cole in the back, depending on the scenario, I guess. Um, last part of the team, yes, Dragapult Cole with Weakness Policy Cole and Surf Dragapult to set it off. I decided to go with Aya Papa Berry Dragapult and Ally Switch Dragapult to be able to, you know, switch into Dragapult, or I mean Colossal if it's a really big, uh, you know, something is threatening it. You can Ally Switch and deal with that. Uh, somebody suggested maybe Breaking Swipes Dragapult instead. But I do think if you want to be able to Dynamax, Dragapult, then Phantom Force and Dragon Darts are going to be some of your best options. And they're also decent, um, you know, offensive moves for if you're ever going to use Dragapult in the back anyways. So I do think that this team can be really fun. And I think even though there's, you know, two main ways of playing the team, you also can start, you know, Indeedee, Cinderace, or like Grimmsnarl Cinderace, or even Dragapult Cinderace. And, you know, the, the Cinderace lead, I guess, is a potential third option that's very viable as a Dynamax that you shouldn't count out because of the, you know, Life Orb, obviously. Technically, you could do like, uh, I guess, that guy Marco did, and you could surf Dragapult without Dynamax and Colossal, get a fat heat wave off, 
and you know then you know you had just have Cinderace Dynamax in the back. Uh, but with that being said, let's start getting into these games. And if you want to rent the team, the code is there for you with the fixed code. Because I didn't actually have G Max Colossal the first time. <laughs> <sighs> that was that was not a smart plan. So let's see. They have let's see like Porygon to Zapdos, Torkoal. I think they had Zapdos, right? It looks like a pretty solid team, honestly. I think I might like having Taunt more than I might like having Thunder Wave, but Thunder Wave has definitely like come in clutch before, so I don't think that I should count it out. Just make sure that we get rid of the Grim Snarl is the real thing. Like, yes, they might use Reflect, they might use Light Screen. I kind of hope they use Light Screen, expecting me to have special utility. Knock out my Grim Snarl this turn. Ooh. That's. That makes this game a lot more. Fun. Going back to the question of the day, there's obviously a lot of off meta Pokemon that are slept on. And if they have decent stats, or they work well with something like the Assault Vest, like, you can definitely make them work. Uh, I think Vickable is, 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 for me, one of my favorite off-meta Pokemon that gets slept on. I mean, with max special attack, it can have 428 special attack at level 100. So you give that thing the Life Orb, and it's like... Okay, like you've got a nearly 550 power Pokemon in the field. I'm actually trying Assault Best Vickabolt right now, and I think that's pretty interesting. <laughs> that was it! That was the move! <laughs> Cinderace, one shots, Porygon, two. With a young kid. That's how you bring a game back. Wow. So, this turn I actually kind of want to avoid Regirock. Like, yes, my high jump kick would probably do a decent amount of damage into Regirock. But I'm a little bit worried about setting off a weakness policy, and also Torkoal just protected me that I can. I'm re okay, so I'm resetting the weather, which I think makes sense. should not have used Max Hellstorm. 
I mean, with the chip damage, we might be able to still... Nope. Nope. Twerkle is gonna survive on one health. But luckily, it's not doing anything anymore. actually gonna switch in indeed right now just to basically waste their time if I'm being honest. I really don't have any other plan with doing that. Is that like once their Dynamax is over, Cinderace is gonna be really good. So So I went for the Ice Punch just in the off chance that I could actually use them. That Rock Fall didn't do nothing, but Torkoal will go down from the chip damage. It uses Burning Jealousy, that's smart, and it uses Eruption again. Now we just expanding force and ice punch again. Like, if I freeze them, that'd be pretty dope. Uh-oh. Ah, rock turns to ice. And your Dynamax is over. Mudsdale. So Mudsdale is like the one non-meta Pokemon they have though, right? Like Urshifu, Rotom, Insin, Pini, Mudsdale, and P2. Um, if anything, the other Rotom forms are slept on, right? Like, <laughs> nobody uses Rotom Fan, nobody uses Rotom Air, but the real reason is that they're actually not as good. Um, I mean, Rotom Air, I can imagine, could possibly be good. Because it's technically, it's just an electric flying Pokemon, right? Like, it, we know generally those are pretty good Pokemon. I think the problem is just that Ice and Rock gets used quite a bit. So, like, its weaknesses are a lot more prevalent in the game, whereas, like, well, Rotom has grass weakness, like Rotom Wash, so, and so does Rotom Fire has rock weakness as well, so, I don't know. It's, there's, there's a reason why people don't use that one, let's just put it that way. Uh, I actually do kind of want to give it a try, though, sometime, if I'm being honest. Weakness policy, Rotom, which you have to sell to the system that's not obvious is the thing. Interesting, so they go for a double offensive move. The same way the last person did. So they obviously don't want to set up Trick Room because of Wiki Wiki being kind of slow, I guess. Um, we did get a crit there, which I don't think mattered. We got the 
swagger off, and so, yeah, I don't think it matters. Did we get this map? Well, uh, I wasn't, I was actually not looking. I might have missed. I don't think I missed. Never seen a plus six licky licky. Cause it's coming. Oh lord, he coming. Coming. You wish that did more, I'm sure. Life or okay. I'm sure that after they saw I had Max Hailstorm, they're like, oh no, why did I die in Max Mud's Hail? Like <laughs> And that's why you don't reveal all of your moves to you. There was one game where the it took me like five turns longer than it needed to because I revealed my fire punch and my ice punch. And they had like Landorus and Card Con. Kinda sucks that like you would be paralyzed. I... I can understand why I wanted to send out Ndidi, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, I'm so far ahead at this point that it's like, do you really expect it to matter? So right, we're just gonna keep, like, lowering the special attack on the... P2, right? And then Cinderace can deal with both of them. Um, you can see though how Metagross and Hatterini might actually make really interesting other uh, alternatives as opposed to, you know, Dragapult Cull. My opponent just hard quit there, I guess, because they weren't happy with me lowering their special attack or something, I don't know. Um, but we did go plus six Licky Licky in that game, so that's fun. And looks like we're starting Dragapult Cull against Spectre, Clefairy, Insane, Reggie, Rilla Boom and what Earthship It's a lot of meta stuff, like 
that's Pokemon. That's bad. Right. So. I mean, if they're leading this, there's a very good chance they have a reason to, right? Um, so I was like, maybe I just Dynamax Dragapult and actually just Max Phantasm their Spectre. The problem is Follow Me for Fairy, and that doesn't even make Colossal necessarily that much better of an option, uh, considering that Life Orb Spectreer runs much sometimes. could have taken out the Clefairy with a Max Phantasm. Well, I, no, it, first off it just wouldn't, but um, it would have to be a Max Phantasm plus like a crit from a non uh, Here it comes. <laughs> It's also not enough to take out the Clefairy, unfortunately. So, if I switch in... If I switch in in Didi, I can switch in either one right now, honestly. Um, I could switch in Grimstarl and Fake Out, I could switch in in Didi and Protect, I think is gonna be my best option. And then Phantom Force the... Uh, Spectrier. Because what Phantom Force is going to really do is pressure them into max guarding on their last Dynamax turn. Phantom Force. Oops. Reggie So they had Reggie Lecky instead of Urshifu. That was the thing that I didn't see. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna expanding force. Like, why would I follow me right now? Ah, 
there you go. That's significant. That's very significant. So... I Phantom Force again, right? They could switch out, which would be not good for me, and then I protect again, so. I'm back. I accidentally, my laptop just died, so there was a little, a little redo there, I think. I'm not 100% sure. But we get that Reggie left knock out because, well, they didn't knock out us out, fortunately. <laughs> Let's see what they have in the back. Controllers just trying to figure its stuff out. Ooh, they aqua jet. That's not the right play. We are faster than Spectre, which is a really, really good thing about Dragapult. I was literally like one minute away from finishing this video and then my laptop. Oh man. Okay. So that was a that was a really nice three win streak though with this team. I think it, it demonstrated what this team can do really well. And the you know, Valkalith damage actually ended up mattering so much in this last game. So it's really good that I did make it, you know, G Max call the way that it's supposed to be. Uh <laughs> And looks like we might get to see my opponent's team, so that gives us a little buffer. They have beneficial attack, special attack nature instead of speed nature. Choice, Specs, Reggie Lucky. Yeah, that thing definitely did a lot of damage to Dragapult. But it's good that we survived even that through that crit, so. I do think they have a pretty solid team, and, you know, I think the chip damage more than anything else and the Phantom Forces really went a long way. So that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, video. <laughs> and, you know, till the next, I'm not exactly sure what I'll be showing. Maybe some of the more Corviknight matches, because I do have quite a bit of that to get through, so, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Until the next vid.